Good morning, everyone. This is Kelsey De Vera of Group 3, and our topic is about network and mobile devices. In this lesson, um, we will learn the benefits of networking, basic data network, um, LAN hardware and addressing Ethernet and Wi-Fi, basic cellular network concepts and how to obtain cellular services, and lastly, how smartphones and tablets are connected to the Internet. So first is, what is network? Basically, there are networks all around us. So this could be in the form of tran transportation, cellular networks, data networks, cable television networks, and our telephone network. So in its simplest form, it's a system for moving objects or information. So in our daily lives, part talaga yung network. Individual networks can also be connected to other networks, and this practice is referred to as internetworking. A network can consist of two or three computers in a single room, while an internetwork can consist of millions of computers connected across the, the globe. Infrastructure is the basic underlying physical structure or framework needed for the operation of a service or an enterprise. Um, networks are in wide use today because they are practical and useful. They enable users to share many things, including files. So, for example, we have our Google Drives. So, now we can create and store a file on our drive. And other um, network users, for example, our professors can open and access our Google Drive and see our work. So they can obtain a copy of our files. So that's how, uh, that's also part of the network. Next is resources. Um, right now, especially in the offices, instead of using um, one printer in every computer, they can minimize it to one printer and scanner and pwedeng mag-sharing na lang doon sa isa na yun, doon na lang magpiprint. So we also have internet connection sharing, internet connections, and also we are already familiar with this, downloading, the process of copying a file, and streaming. Basic technology. Home networks, school networks, business networks, and even the internet or data networks. They transport data from one location to another. This data is prepared for transport through a process called packetization. That is, the data is broken down into multiple pieces called packets. So we have here yung transmission control protocol or internet protocol. So this is um, TCP or IP. It is a networking protocol that controls the process of breaking down data into packets, sending it across the network, and reassembling it when it reaches its destination. All major operation systems use TCP or IP as their networking protocol. So, how to find your IP address? So, run command prompt window and R, then type CMD, shortcut for command, then enter. Then type IP config slash all. So, you can also view your IP addresses from the Windows Network and Sharing Center. Uh, click the detail buttons to view specifics about the connection, including the IP address. So here, we always see this one, the LANs versus ONES. So LANs is, uh, LAN means um, local area network. It is a private local setup. Your home network or a small office or school network is a LAN. LANs are private networks and come in different sizes but are generally confined to one geographic location. So, ayan, there's a one server. Tapos, ito. So, it's commonly in the businesses, um, home, and school. Next, we have the wide area networks or WANs are networks that connect computers in multiple locations using communication lines owned by a public carrier such as the phone company or an internet service provider. IP addresses. In order for the computers connected to a network to communicate with one another, each computer requires a unique address. So this address is called an internet protocol or IP address. So we're very familiar with this one. So each network contains this one. So um, 
IP address distinguishes it from all other computers on the network. A typical LAN IP address looks like this. So, ito. On the internet, each website has, has its own IP address, which is associated with an easy-to-remember text address called a UAR, URL. URL means Uniform Resource Locator. So, yung URL, ito siya. Yung www.yahoo.com, this is a URL. Yung mga website na pinupuntahan natin, that's their URL. Facebook, www.facebook.com. And it, every, each one of these are associated with the IP address na in this, ano, itong form na to, in this form. Obtaining internet service. So, accessing the internet from your school or office is easy because the internet service is already running and you can access it either through Ethernet or Wi-Fi. However, at some point, someone at your school or office had to decide which service to purchase and then arrange to have it set up. So, we have different um, service provider or internet service provider. An ISP is a company that provides internet connections to the public for a fee. So, typical service providers include phone companies, cable TV companies, and satellite TV companies. So, alam naman na natin yung mga sample nitong mga to. Satellite internet. So, this technology provides by satellite communication. So, it involves three satellite dishes, one at the service provider's hub, one in space, and one attached to your home. Basically, wireless signals are sent from the ISP to outer space to you, or from you to outer space to the ISP. So, it offers speeds from 5 Mbps to 15 Mbps. Upload speed and download speed. So, these are the very common terms that we use in the internet. So, when we say uploading, it's the process of sending information from computer to a server. And when we say downloading, it's the process of receiving the information from a server. Downstream or download, data moves downstream as it reaches, from, as, as it reaches you from a web server. And then upstream, upload, means data moves upstream when you send or upload information. So download, we use this to download um, music, kumukumuha tayo music. And then when we say upload, tayo yung gumagawa we, we We upload the information. Typical broadband speeds. So broadband providers advertise their top download speed with the words up to. This is because the top speed is almost never experienced by a subscriber. So, usually, makikita natin na yung um, speed is like up to 3 Mbps. But when we check, hindi naman talaga siya nagiging 3 Mbps. Hindi naman siya nag-exceed or hindi siya nagiging ganun yung top speed niya. So, these are the example of the one that we have, the providers that we have. And then, these are the speeds and the pricing. How much speed do you need? If you want to stream HD movies from Netflix, for example, Netflix recommends that you use a 5 Mbps connection for a good quality 1080 pixel stream. The amount of bandwidth is sufficient for one user. However, if you have multiple users streaming video to a different devices, then you need more. If you want to stream ultra high definition videos, then you need a 25 Mbps connection. Next is how to connect your internet to your LAN. So we have different methods to connect the internet to your LAN. We have the broadband modems. The modem converts the incoming signal from your phone line, cable line, fiber optic line, or satellite dish into a digital signal that can be sent to a computer or to a broadband router. So the modem is the place where the private LAN connects to the public one. The modem is connection point which has two sides or faces. So as you can see, these are the broadband modems. So from the modem, tapos na ko connect siya sa desktop natin. And then next is broadband routers. If your broadband modem provides only a single Ethernet port and does not support wireless connections and you want to share internet connection among multiple systems in your LAN, then you must add a broadband router to your network. 
So, this is how it works. So, sometimes uh, sa isang bahay, there are areas na hindi di ba nakakasagap ng internet. So, that's why we have to use a router as a network para masagap siya nung nasa ibang area. Kunyari, nasa ibang room. So, ayan, it can work na sa desktop, laptops, and even tablets using the broadband routers. So, next is the public and private IP addresses. Uh, public IP address is one that will be unique on the internet. You must use a public IP address to participate on the internet. And then, the private IP address is the one used within the LAN. Or sa local network lang. Local area network lang. I have a private address. How do I connect to the internet? So, these are the ways to connect it. It it assigns private network address to the system connected to it. It uses a technology called network address translation to replace the private IP address used by a system on the LAN with the internet. Wired connections on Ether, wired connections Ethernet. So in these um, slides, we will learn about the differences of Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Ethernet, a wired connection to a LAN, is called an Ethernet connection because it uses a networking cable called an Ethernet cable. Using a wired connection provides the fastest and most secure connection possible with the LAN. So there are standard Ethernet standards and cables. It's a network cabling protocol for transmitting data across a LAN. You use Ethernet cables to connect computers and other devices to wired connections. So there are cables. These are the cables that we use for Ethernet. Network interface card. Network interface card sends and receives data back and forth between your computer and the network, and it includes its own Ethernet port. So, ito, it supports then Mbps, 100 Mbps, and 1 GB, Gbps. Advantages and disadvantages of wired connections. On the plus side, wired connections are faster than wireless connections. They are secured and they are reliable. Wired connections are ideal for handling a large volume of traffic. The main drawback to using wired connections are that they require cabling. And cabling can get messy and can get in the way. So, when should you use an Ethernet connection? If your computer does not include wireless capability, then the only way you can participate in a network is to use a wired connection. So, if you require guaranteed reliability, it's better to use Ethernet connection. If you require security for transmitting sensitive and or private information, wired connections are secured. So, usually, Ethernet, we use this in businesses, offices, schools. Kasi um, they need to protect their uh, data, so it's better to use them. And if we can see sa schools, di ba, uh, marami tayong cables that are connected sa, sa, ano natin, sa system. And it means that mas, mas mabilis din kasi ang, mas mabilis ang connection if we're using Ethernet. So, mostly sa offices, ito din ang gamit instead of Wi-Fi. For the Wi-Fi naman, Wi-Fi, wireless networking is a form of networking wherein system use their Wi-Fi capability to send and receive radio transmissions over the air instead of overwired cabling. Wireless connection occurs into distinct mode, ad hoc, and infrastructure. Adapter signals and bands. Device that participate on LANs must include a wireless adapter, which is the device that transmits and receives the radio signals. So, um, bakit uh, Wi-Fi is, uh, ang cons lang of using Wi-Fi is that minsan hindi secured yung, yung network natin or yung IP address. So, minsan, if we're using I, uh, Wi-Fi, mas mabilis yung fraud, yung um, hacks. So, yun yung, yun yung cons ng using a wireless security. So, because of wireless networks use radio waves to send an, and receive information, they are susceptible to eavesdropping, interception, and unauthorized access. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na mas secured yung transmission ng data if we use Ethernet. 
So that's it for my part po.